Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf of Center Stage Magazine, and we are here with Pete Hegseth of Fox News. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. I am so excited for this week. Are you excited for the award show? Oh yeah, it's my favorite week of the year. It's uh, it's an amazing opportunity, amazing show. Yeah, this is the fifth annual Patriot Awards, correct? It is, yep. First time in Nashville, though. Yes, I, that's what I was going to say. I live here, and I haven't seen it here before, and I'm really excited. There's tickets still available, too, so for everybody who's watching, if you want to get a chance to go to this amazing show and honor some great, 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 wonderful people, this would be the time to do it, and it's going to be held at the Grand Ole Opry. How amazing is that? I know. I'm going to pinch myself being up there. I've been to shows there. I mean, it's absolutely iconic and historic. Just being backstage uh, is, for some of the rehearsals, has been amazing, and yeah, I can't can't wait to be on that stage. Now, have you got to stand in the circle yet? Uh, I've been near the circle, but I haven't stood in the circle yet. I'm trying to save that, you know? Save that moment? Yes. yes. That is such a great experience. And watching people step into that circle for the first time has just been so amazing. And I know that this is, you know, not something that Center Stage Magazine typically does. Um, but But being that our two worlds are combining on this one glorious night, I feel like we have to be there. This is just something that I think everybody who loves our country needs to be at an event like this. And we have Dennis Quaid and Craig Morgan that are going to be performing. Now, have you been able to see their their uh, rehearsals at all? Well, I know what their their rehearsals are still to come. Uh, okay. So I know Craig Morgan's an Opry member. So I mean, he's it's old hat for him. But they've got some some beautiful performances, and we're going to be soon going walking through all the final rehearsals. Yeah. That's great. And you're going to have food trucks there too, I was told. And I'm really excited about that. I think everybody in this town absolutely loves food trucks. So, but but what, what are you most excited about? Because I think for me, just the fact that you're honoring so many first responders and, and just dedicated people to our country, I just think that is just such an amazing thing. And I, I don't think there's enough of that. I mean, we just had Veterans Day and thank you for your service, by the way, you were in the military. Um, what is that like for you, having that personal experience and getting to honor those those who have helped serve our country? Well, you said it so right. I mean, this is a night about patriotism and loving your country, full stop. Like, you know, we do plenty of, there's plenty of moments when we're talking about politics, we're talking about news, yeah. we're talking about things we agree on or disagree on. None mm -hmm. of that's to, uh, the Patriot Wars. The Patriot Wars exactly. is the spotlight on the people who deserve it, who never seek it who uh, get up early and stay up late and do dangerous and hard things on our behalf, in our country, in our states, in our community. And you know what? I do think about my guys. I talked about this last year on the stage. I just, every time I'm on a stage and there's thousands of people and it's a big old award show and lights, my mind goes to the guys I served with in Iraq and the guys I served with in Afghanistan and wishing that they could be on stage to feel uh, the love of a country and of patriots who are here to celebrate America. Yeah. That's who that that's kind of what I try to channel is like this night's for you guys. It's for mm -hmm. it's for the for, you know forgotten heroes out there who um, who don't who aren't celebrated enough often in our country mm -hmm. and in our culture. So first responders, vets, um, young patriots, uh, you know, older vets. First responders that have been in the news or, or, or not, some people that were a part of events you've heard of, some that events you haven't heard of. But I think in there are a lot of award shows. And what we like to say is this is this is an award show that matters. It's not, these are not actors getting awards. These are real people and uh, they deserve it. Absolutely. And their families too. Their families have to sacrifice a lot when they're out of, you know, out of the country and and you know, doing what they can to protect us. And I mean, for all the moms out there, all the wives and, you know, fathers, it's just, it, it's such an emotional thing. My daughter enlisted when she was 18, right out of high school. Um, you know, my nephew, same thing. And, and you know, I, there's so many people in our lives that have been in the military or that are currently in the military. And I don't think enough people really stop and think about what they're giving up to to do that for us. And so I want to thank you guys first and, and foremost for for doing that what made you sign up and, and enlist because that is a huge decision it is uh you know i look back on it and i don't know that it was one definitive moment but it was a series of events i wasn't from a military family but we would always go to uh, the memorial day parade and veterans mm -hmm. day parade and the fourth of july down in a, my parents hometown in southern minnesota it's a small farming town and i just remember it's why i'm such a big fan of civic ritual and parades and things like that mm -hmm. i remember just watching these 
men and some women, but mostly men walking down the street in their uniforms and they were World War II vets and Korean War vets and Vietnam vets and the Gulf War vets. Just watching everybody in the town stand up and and applaud them and salute them and and it's the, sort of the closest thing you could see to celebrity in a in a, in a small town, you know. Well and and I just remember thinking, man, those guys, those gals must have done something really special. Like they must have been willing to do something. Um, and of course, you know, the Memorial Day Parade in one Mingo, Minnesota, ends at Memorial Park, where those that didn't make it home are buried. And when you, I don't know, I don't know that I thought of this at the time, but when you think of all those little memorial parks in Wanamingo, Minnesota, to Goodhue County, to Southern Minnesota, across Minnesota, across all 50 states, like that's the price of freedom. And, yeah. and, and I, so I just know as a kid, I thought, man, if I'm ever able in a position where I should do that, I, I, I should. And that just kind of stuck with me and I couldn't get rid of it. And so uh, when I went to college, I joined ROTC and I'm glad I did. I'm glad you did too. And I'm sure your family, they're super proud of you, your kids. You have seven kids, I read. We do. Yeah. yeah. A bunch of them. They're all going to be there too. It's the first oh time. Oh my gosh. Be at well, the show. God bless your wife for having seven kids. I'm in a blended family. We've got five. That's a lot. <laughs> well, we're in a blended family of seven too. So we're three, three and one together. So it, okay. that's, that's how all we right. end them up. All right. Well, that that's amazing. I, I, you know, God bless you all for everything that you've done and everything you continue to do and for shining a light on these heroes, because I think that there's not enough of that in this world. And, and personally, one thing I like to tell people is if you ever get the chance to go to Arlington Cemetery, go. It's such a beautiful place. It's an emotional place, but it really just drives home how how much sacrifice is really there in our world for, oh, it, for it us to be able away. to do everything. It in does. fact, we might take our kids this this December. I'm trying to work on the timing of making it work. They do wreaths across America and everything. I, I don't know that it will, but it is our intention. We want to make sure they're old enough that it hits too. Yes. Uh, but just seeing it and then you think, okay, that's it. And then you walk over the next hill and you're like, oh my goodness. And it's just the row after row after row. And and I've I've been to section 60 many times, which is the the younger, the Iraq and mm -hmm. Afghanistan vet generation. And you start to look down and you see names and guys of the time frames when you were there. I mean, it's it's sobering. And I and I do think every generation needs to see it and understand it. 100%. And I feel like everybody needs to go to Pearl Harbor as well. It's just another one of those places. I like to take my family on those types of vacations where we we see the historical sites. And, and man, there's just nothing, there's nothing better than that because they get to feel and they get to learn. And so for everybody who's watching, please, please, please get out there and honor your vets, honor, honor anyone you can who's been in the military because it's such an important job and there's not enough people that, that want to be out there doing it these days. And, and so I got to give credit to everybody who is, and um, oh. I, I know you have to go, you have a tight schedule. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing the show. I'm looking forward to everything, but is there anything else you want to say before? Well, we thank you. No, I would, you mentioned it. There aren't many tickets left, but there are a few. And so if you're in the area or you can make it work on, on Thursday night, uh, mm -hmm. November 16th, join us, come out to the Grand Ole Opry house. You'll see a heck of a show. Um, yeah. some of your, Fox, some folks at Fox that, uh, that, you know, and, and celebrate America. And that's what it is. It, it's celebrating people, celebrating heroes. It doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on, just come and celebrate the heroes who made it possible for you to be here today. Absolutely. Uh, well, it was so great talking to you. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Likewise. And, thank you. We'll see you there. Absolutely. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>